Hello, Leopard fans. Welcome to your Leopard Sports Update. I'm Joe Blaze Bush. We're on to the home stretch here on the school year as we have officially entered the last nine weeks. Our Leopard Sports teams are making their way through their seasons and are seeing some success, but most importantly, they are learning how to play with, together as a team. So far, the girls' track team has won every meet and are still continuing to get better. They have had three girls qualify for state already and some in more than one event. Meanwhile, the boys are still improving and getting better. They have had one boy qualify for state so far and many more that are beginning to turn heads. Both teams came in and won the Mansfield Tiger Relays Tuesday night. Man, it's been going really well. Uh, you know, we, we started back in January and, uh, you know, coming off a successful cross-country season, we have a lot of high hopes this year for our track team. And, uh, you know, it's been, it's been going great. You know, we've had a lot of big performances early in the year, and now that we've got through spring break, uh, I felt like the kids are, are starting to round into form and getting ready for a conference. This year I think we're doing very good. We have um, Bell Lindsay and Melissa who've been scoring at least like 20 points every track meet. <laughs> and then I just think we have a really good friendship around and our 4x4 team has been winning and we've been winning every meet that we go to or getting runner up. Our Leopard baseball team faced off against the Mina Bearcats Tuesday night, coming out victorious in a 13-10 win. They played Falk yesterday here at home, but just couldn't get going in a loss delivered by the Panthers. They will be facing off against the Fountain Lake Cobras today in Fountain Lake. Our Leopards currently have a record of 6-5 overall, 2-2 two two in conference. The Leopards are on, were on a five-game win streak before yesterday and are now looking to redeem themselves on the road tonight. Well, we kind of started off pretty slow couple of games. We lost a couple of games at the beginning of the season and then we found a rhythm, picked up a big, a big win against Horatio and Malvern, a conference game. One was, Malvern was a conference game and uh, we just took off from there. We got a few big wins over spring break and then just found a rhythm and stuck with it. We're playing good right now. So Friday going into spring break we played Malvern at Malvern, uh, beat them three to two. It was a really, really good ball game. Uh, walked away with that one in the seventh inning. Friday of spring break we went to Derrick's Played a really, really good Derrick's team, saw a bunch of good pitchers, and beat them in 10 innings. And uh, this past Tuesday, faced a pretty scrappy Mina team and beat them. And uh, today, Falk comes here, and we travel to Fountain Lake for our next conference game tomorrow. Pitching staff has just stepped up big. We've had a lot of big innings from them, uh, getting out of some jams. Defensively, we've been pretty good all year. Uh, had some hiccups here and there, but we're working those out. And uh, same thing hitting. We've, we've hit the ball really well as of lately. That's something we struggled at early, but as of the last four or five games, our bats have come alive. The Lady Leopards also traveled to Mina Tuesday night and dropped their conference game to the Bearcats. Their game versus the Foreman Gators Thursday got rained out, but they are, will be looking for redemption as they travel to Fountain Lake tonight. The soccer season is also approaching the halfway mark, and the teams have improved a lot and are trying to continue to get better through the second half of the season. Conference play is on the horizon, and the thought of returning to the state playoffs is becoming a reality with both teams winning their first conference games. Head coach Stephen Sloan and senior captain Evan Garcia will be looking to improve more and uh, are looking forward to conference play. Well, as a captain, I'm expecting everyone stepping up, conference plays coming up, and just making, making a long run throughout the season, making it far as far as last year. Um, we started off slow our first game, and after that we practiced hard and picked it up. And, we are doing good ever since, and we start conference play this week, and I hope a lot of fans can show up and support us as we play the rest of the season. We played center point um, uh, Monday night there at their place. Um, a little different, you know, their field's a little bit smaller uh, width-wise, and uh, so, uh, but it was good for the girls to get out, and get to play, the boys to get to play, uh, kind of break the rust off from spring break, and uh, kind of get back in the uh, mode of playing games, and, and getting back to, uh, trying to get better for conference season. Going to be an exciting second half to our spring sports seasons, but to keep up with all the action, you can tune in to our weekly sports update show. Have a great weekend, everyone, and remember, it is always a great day to be a leopard.